In this BookBolt tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add page numbers either at the beginning of your project or throughout your project. So here I've got a 24 page book set up. It's all blank and there's a cover. So I'm going to add page numbers now into my project. It's pretty easy to do. I'm going to select this page templates right here and then I'm going to pick what I would like to have in my book. So let's say, for example, you'd like to have mazes. So I'm going to pick a circular maze. The first 10 pages are going to be the mazes. So now I'll select continue to options. I'm going to leave this all defaulted and I'm going to go here to my continue to solutions pages and that will be pages 11 through 20 and I'll click submit. Okay. And pretty straightforward. Now we have a cover page one through 10 are my mazes and then page 11 through page 20 are my solutions. So how do I insert page numbers? I'm just going to start here on page number one. I'm going to go back into templates and I'm going to see that there's actually a blank template right here. It says blank with page number. You want to select this one and now you can simply select all of your pages, continue to options, and then you can select your font. You can select your text size and really important. You can select where you'd like the page number to be. So here's center on the bottom, for example, and now I'll click submit. And now you'll see down below page one. When I go to page two, page two is there. This is just a blank template that sits underneath whatever you've selected. So if you select this page template, you won't override what's already in your project. You can see here I have page 24 is blank, but it says page 24. I want to add a page. So I'm going to click down on the bottom left, add page, and it's going to change my page count. So I'm going to say, okay. And now you'll see page 25 does not have a page number. Page 24 does have a page number. So if you add in a new page, you're going to have to make a decision about if you'd like a page number added to add after the fact, it's the same process. So I'm going to make sure page 25 is selected. I'm going to go up here to page templates. I'm going to select blank with page number and only select page 25. Now I'll continue to options. Okay. Now when you get to this page, it's going to remember all of your previous settings, but here's an important piece. The text template is here and the page numbering start. You don't want it to start on number one here. You want it to start on number 25 center bottom. I'll click submit. And now we can see page 25 says page 25 page 24 says page 24. Everything looks fantastic. I hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. I love using BookBolt. Just a heads up, I'll put a BookBolt link in the video description below. It is an affiliate link. That just means if you purchase the BookBolt subscription, which I think is an amazing deal, I would receive a small commission. I use BookBolt a lot to make sales on Amazon KDP. And here's another video on how you can have some fun publishing your own books using BookBolt.